Hi everyone, welcome to the seventh and final video from the 2019 Crossing Newfoundland by ATV video series. Thank you so much to all of you that have followed this series on YouTube. I really appreciate it. I get lots of emails from people telling me that they've watched my videos and read my website and it's motivated them to go and do this trip. That makes all the effort that I put into these worthwhile. In part six, you saw us ride from Deer Lake to Robinson's and then you saw our guided day tour with Paul and Ruth from Pirate's Haven. In this video, you'll see us ride from Robinson's to Port of Basque with stops at South Branch, Little Codroy Pond and JT Cheeseman Provincial Park. When we got up that last morning, we were really happy to see it was a beautiful sunny day. We drove down to the main building where the folks at Pirate's Haven cooked us up a great breakfast. After saying our goodbyes to Paul and Ruth, we went back to our cabins and then we packed up our gear. The cabins at Pirate's Haven are really nice. Let me show you what they look like here on the inside. All three of these cabins pretty much look the same inside. Uh, this one is a little different. It's a handicapped accessible one, so it has the ramp there that you saw me go up, and that has a larger bathroom. But other than that, they're, they're pretty much the same. They both have two bedrooms. Um, when I was going through here with the camera showing the rooms, I didn't actually show the second room. It's, well, it looks just like this one, but it's a little bit smaller, and there's a smaller bed in there. But, you know, these are really nice, really nice spots, really comfortable. Great place to spend the night in, in Newfoundland while you're making your way across on an ATV. And straight across there through the woods, there's some water down on that hill over there, the river, but there's also, uh, the, the rail bed is just right there. In addition to the chalets, they also have this tower they built recently, which has bunk rooms in it. And for 2020, they have two glamping units. But unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of the glamping units, but I will probably put those up on my Facebook page. So keep an eye out for that uh, in the coming months. The first thing we did when we left Robinson's that morning was we jumped onto this orange trail here on my map. That takes you down around Robinson's head. It's so pretty. We've been there several times, but we always start our day off when we leave Robinson's and go down around that way. Then when we're done that, we jump on the rail bed, which is shown in blue, and we headed back towards um, Port of Basque. But before we got there, of course, we made normal uh, several stops, rather, like we normally do. And one of the first ones we did was at South Branch. It's a mountain peak that we drive up, and it's shown here on the map. It's a steep climb on the way up that mountain. And when we were up there, we came across these fellas that were out hunting, and they caught themselves a moose. And uh, I'm pretty sure the man that was driving it told me that it was made by uh, BRP. And uh, I hadn't seen one of those things before, but he said the one he had was quite old, and it was run by a diesel motor. tried it a couple times in the videos here you can just never ever tell how steep it is you're going downhill 
After we left that mountain peak, we drove back down the trail and that's quite steep, but you just basically let your engine brake and do the work for you. We jumped back on the blue trail, which is the rail bed. Then we went over to Little Codroy Pond. The locals call it River of Lakes. This green trail here is about four and a half kilometers. is about three miles to get in there. It's a little slow going, but it's not too, too bad. And it's a beautiful spot. It's worth the trip in. There we go. We had lots of daylight hours left before getting back to the ferry, so we took our time here, we cooked up some food, we walked around, took some photos, explored, that type of thing before we went back and get back in the machines. On our way out, we came across a man who was in a Kubota who was doing some trail repairs and stuff, and we waited for him to uh, pull up off to the shoulder of the uh, the trail there into the woods so we could go by him. It's a big car muffler or something. Oh, it must have ripped the muffler off that Suzuki. He, he just got out and picked up a big muffler and a piece a center pipe and put it in the inside of the cab. So after we left Little Codroy Pond, we went back onto the rail bed, which is here in blue. We went towards Port of Basque, and not too far from Port of Basque is Red Rocks, and we drove up a short trail, which is about a mile long, took us up to the Sugarloaf Mountaintop. Really nice view from up there. It's the exact opposite view of where we were on the very first day, uh, which you can see there now. Then we went back onto the rail bed, and we headed towards JT Cheeseman Provincial Park. We couldn't believe how much of the steel bars were sticking out of the sand. When we got there on the first day, you could only see a few inches. Now you could see four or five feet of these bars. That's a lot of sand that's missing. Here's the train, you know what that means. That's the end of the trail, or the start of the trail if you're going the other way. So this is the end of our trip for 2019. When we got into Port of Basque here, we drove up the road, we went to a Tim Hortons restaurant, uh, we got something to eat. We were still way ahead of the ferry. The ferry doesn't leave till midnight and you need about two hours to get there ahead of time. So we just kind of puttered around a little bit before we went to the terminal um, and we did that, it was after dark. Instead of taking the highway into the ferry terminal, there's now a trail just off the main road behind the Tim Hortons that I just got on here now that takes you all the way into the ferry terminal so you don't have to drive on the highway anymore. Once we got to the ferry terminal we had to wait a few minutes before we could check in. Once you get inside they take you to a big garage where uh, someone comes along with a fire hose and sprays down your, uh, your machine. They spray down the wheel wells, the floorboards, things like that. And then you get in line with the uh, motorcycles and other ATVs up towards the front. The nice thing uh, about driving the ATVs is that you're one of the first people on the boat and one of the first people off when you get back to Nova Scotia. And when we were in there, we ran into a bunch of people that were doing the trip from Ontario and they were using my uh, website and YouTube information to, to do the trip. I reset my trip odometer when we started on the first day and this was my mileage at the very end. This was such a fantastic trip. This was my 10th time going across and I never get bored of it. The scenery is fantastic. The people are fantastic. The guys that were in my group with me made the trip so much fun. You couldn't ask for a better group of guys. And sad to say, we're over again for another year. Here's a recap of our 2019 trip.
Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to do this trip on your own, go to my website, www.crossingnewfoundlandbyatv.com to see how you can plan your trip.